day is on November 11th, less than a month away, but there's something you can do today to make a difference in the lives of area vets. And joining us this morning to talk about the Eye Honor Program is the president of Veteran Events in Tallahassee Incorporated, Joe West. Thank you for being here with us. Thanks for having me, Abby. Tell us about this program. The Eye Honor Program, uh, we kind of conceived over the past few months, and it's a way for people to connect personally on Veterans Day. Everybody knows a veteran or has a veteran in the family and I Honor gives them the opportunity to honor that veteran. They can go to the I Honor website or they can go to our website veteventstally.org and click onto the I Honor site and, and uh, read about other veterans. We have a Facebook page that they're welcome to put in something, write something about the veteran they know and respect, something that they want everybody to know about their veteran. And they can also purchase a flag now for what will be in our uh, field of honor on Veterans Day. We will have the flag set up. Uh, the flags are $15, and, and you can, your, your soldier or your sailor or your airman's information will be on there, his rank and his name and, and branch of service. Um, and we're going to put that in a field across from where we hold VetFest in the chain of parks. And then after the parade, you can come down, find your veteran's flag, and pick it up and take it home with you. So it's just another way for, for local people to, to honor the local veterans. We have over 27,000 veterans in the Big Bend Dairy alone. Wow. So we're just, we're just hoping that everybody will go to the site, say a little something about the vet they know and love, maybe put a picture in. I was going to say, um, yeah, post a yeah, picture. Post a picture and, and uh, just, you know, say a little something about that. We want to personalize it more for people so that, so that, yes, we show up and we honor all of our veterans on November 11th, um, but I want to say something specific about my veteran cousin or my veteran dad or my veteran brother, sister, so on. So. And I love the flag idea, too. I think that, again, brings that personal touch. Yes. We're, we're excited. Our, our webmaster came up with that idea, and, and uh, we're hoping to make it a, a, a standard part of the Veterans Day celebration um, and, and grow that field of honor every year to, to get it to where it covers a whole park. It'll be wonderful. And what does the money from the, uh, the flags go towards? The, fla the money from the flags will go towards the operating cost of vet events to, to put on that. We're, we're hosting four major events in the next 40 days. You want to have us give um, us a little preview of each one? Okay. Yep. We have the uh, uh, Vet Fest 5K run on the morning of Veterans Day. That's the 5K that runs through downtown. We also have a one-mile fun run this year for people that don't want to do the whole distance. Um, and then Vet Fest starts at 9 o'clock on Veterans Day in the festival down in the chain of parks downtown. The Veterans Day Parade starts at 1045 and uh, is always a big time. We have mm -hmm. over 3,000 participants every year and usually 20 to 25,000 people show up for that. And then on November 16th, Saturday, we have the 6th Annual Salute to Veterans Poker Run and that kind of ends our season and that's our fundraiser for the year and, and gets us off and going for next year because we have some we have some really big things happening next year that we'll talk about in our in our weekly visits. I'm glad that you're going to have us out here, and we'll be out for the next four Mondays or five Mondays, whatever it is, uh, talking right up to Veterans events. Day, talking about what's going on. Okay, if you want to find out more about the I Honor, how can they do that? They can go to our website, veteventstally.org, or they can go to the ihonor.org website. Um, either one, and tell it'll explain everything and talk about hooking them up to the Facebook page. Some of the things that they put on Facebook, we'll ask if we can transfer over and archive on the website for other people to see. Okay, perfect. Thank you for joining us this morning, Joe. Thanks for having me, Abby. Let's check back in.